Oh, look. Starting to put him back together again. And it's all standard. Linished up the crank, honed bore. We've done the, few, the oil pump. It's got a new relief valve and spring in there. We've got a new cam gear, alloy gear, like I said it was going to be. We're all timed up. <coughs> the crank goes around nice. And, uh, yeah. Not much really to show you until I pull it. Everyone's seen people put pistons in and talk shit up and blah blah blah. So I guess uh, I guess we'll wait till wait till it's um, back together and looking like a million bucks, eh? Before I bring you all back. I have, uh, as I said, I've done the oil pump. We've got a new gear there. I've already done the carburetor. We've got a new electronic distributor coming. Fuel pump, I've kitted that. The place the stud that was busted there. So we're going right, we'll clean up this mess in a sec, eh? Oh, pistons, look. Here's how those pistons come up. Know what I mean? In good shape. So they'll go back in. That's what I'm about to do now. In case you're wondering what this is, that I'm using to assemble the engine. Thank you as the truck goes past. It's this. I don't put it on the rings, so I just put it on the on the on the crank. You know, blah blah blah. The keys. The only thing I suggest is when you're doing a when you when you're putting pistons in, if you want to be really um, absolute, you haven't got an issue. Each one that you put in, <coughs> give the engine a turn. It costs you nothing because if you put them all in and you torque them all down, and then you go to turn your engine and it doesn't go, you're going to be thinking, well, which one is it? At least if you do it as you go, if you turn every time you put a slug in, you give it a swing around, whoosh, you know there's no issue there. So, it's going around nicely. I'll just continue on. You can if you want to. I don't need, I don't normally because I'm awfully careful. I like to turn the block up so that it's up the right way. Drop the piston in from the top. Look at that. Mm. Drop the piston in from the top. And you can guide the um, rod bolts with your fingers. And uh, you won't you won't bang the rod bolts into the crank journal, so um, yeah, I'll just keep going with it. So there we go, all the pistons are back in front cover is on. I like to put this seal on here first before I put the cover on because look, you see there's a little see there's a little tit sticker through there. So I think they're down in here as well. Gives you a good opportunity to be able to just pull them through with a pair of pliers. Now in here see so there's a little ditch. There's over here as well. They don't give you anything to go in there. They don't give you anything to go in there. So when this seal goes on, when that seal goes on, we've got a void. So what I generally do is I'll take a piece of this um, cork, which is you know, you know, throw away part from the uh, valve cover gasket, and I'll cut me two little blocks. It'll fit perfectly in that in that little divot, divot, and um, she's good girls then. Let's get that going. And that's how that goes. Nothing wrong with that. We'll put the other seal in there. Put the main gasket on. Whack the sump on. So with the pickup on, 
in, in rubber in, front rubber in, see how we've got them nice and overlapped in there like that, nice. I'll just put a little tiny dollop of Celastic in there, just a tiny one. I don't normally like to put anything on the cork, especially with these, this is rubber impregnated cork. You put silicone on that, on that, as soon as you start tightening it up it's just going to split and, and squirt out so I'd rather just leave it dry. And uh, I'll go on with that. Another thing I like to do before I put the sump on, if any dents in the pan, knock them out if you can. And if you have a look at the, see how this has gone, this, it's all bellied up. I'll go around with a hammer, bang all them down flat again. Give it the best chance, and then I'll run the buff over the edge. And make him on. It's all nice and bolted up. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my RTV. I'm just going to fill in that little galley. That's a little bit of insurance, and I will before the. Um, I'll, I'll whack some around here too. Yeah, so it, although Holden didn't do this, it's just a little bit of insurance. Same down the back end there, just a little bit of insurance. Nothing worse than having a tiny little piss poor leak because, um, you know, bad pigment or something like that. But anyway, we're going to bang the balancer on it. We'll put a bit of, it's a brand new balancer, put a bit of oil around here so she doesn't go in dry and burn the seal up. And uh, nearly ready to give it a final little blow off and uh, put some paint on the bottom side of it. Bam! When that's nice and dry, we'll turn him up and uh, complete the assembly. Just let them sit in, uh, in the oil for a bit. I'll roll them around. I might go and have a bit of lunch, I think. Ooh, now isn't that pretty? <laughs> yeah, that'll let that dry off. Then I'll bang the well, she's in the side of her. And that's the bottom end done. And that'll do me, but not too shabby. It's uh, about all I can do on this one until, um, until the cylinder head comes back. So up till then, I'll check you all later. Have a good one. Yep, that'll do him, I reckon.